Have you and Brittany ever had a breaking point? Yes. Many times. Before we explain to what we're doing, sorry guys, we missed an upload yesterday. I was very upset, but honestly, there is a lot on our shoulders right now. Big projects coming out in the future, just stay on it. And Brittany was feeling very sick yesterday. She had, what would you have? We thought I had strep throat, but I think it's more of like a cold. I kind of had a little bit like of an upcoming fever this morning. Last night, I like I was so tired, you guys. I couldn't even keep my eyes open. Yeah, guys, I wasn't gonna force her to get up and make a video. Stop you know? it. She wasn't feeling good. She was dozing off, and I'm, I'm like, you know what, babe, just rest. It's okay. The world's not gonna end, guys. If you guys haven't already got your merch, go copy some GMB merch, guys. I'll put it at the end of today's video too. And yeah, let's get on with today's Q and A. We're doing a Q and A, guys. An updated QA. People were commenting an updated QA and we asked you guys some questions. This tea out of the fucking couch. As you guys can see, I put a bow on him. No, you do. He's a side view. He's the other side view. <laughs> <laughs> He's matching with Mr. Bubbles Jr. Guys, we call him Bubbles Jr. because Mr. Bubbles. Is the dad and he's Bubbles Jr. His real name is Nitrous, Nitro, Nitrosity. If I'm angry, another than less, let's start. All right, guys. First question: Most embarrassing moment you had in front of each other? Tell I'm me. I'm trying dude. to think. Most embarrassing thing? I don't think there was anything. I really had a couple of days ago happen when you got out the shower. What? <laughs> when you got out the shower? Tell them. They're saying to tell us. No, you. It was you. So you have to say it. When I got out of the shower? That wasn't embarrassing for you. What? I forgot. Do we need poop? Oh, I said, <laughs> guys. I got out of the shower. She took a hot, nice shower. She's like all ready to go. She walks in the game room, and then we need to a turd in the game room. And this fine young lady right here. That wasn't embarrassing. It was annoying. I didn't, I didn't think that was embarrassing. Garg's sitting on his ass not doing anything. Dude, Garg's I thought he pooped on the pee pee pad over there. There was a turtle on no, that too. No, Garg, Garg's sitting on his ass not doing anything. The weenie pooped and Garg's just looking at me, stepped in the poop. He's like, can I record you? I'm like, bro, I just got out of the shower. Why would you want to record me? He's sitting here smiling. Bro, if I stepped in the shit, bro, I would not no, hear I about swear. it. I will not stop this, hearing I about swear. it. I swear. No, the amount of times that you've almost Damn, stepped. Some good stop. The amount of times that you've almost stepped in shit in the shower, you're like, I would have been so pissed. I'm like, babe, watch your step. Why would I make fun of you? Bro, you would be more mad. I didn't make fun of you. Yes, you did. How? Bro, I sent her a shit emoji. No, he was, didn't. She, no. She went like, to go do her lashes and I sent her a no, shit I emoji. No, I didn't go to go do my lashes. A smiling poop emoji. That's it. No, that's not what you did. What did I do? I'm like, bro, can you clean it up? He's like, no. Nah. She is lying! He swears I not. said I can. I was on the bean bag and it smelled. Yeah, no, he said no. You stepped in it. So you can't pick it up while I'm washing it off my foot? God, I should have not even brought this up, guys. Whatever. Is that reasonable? You guys, I'm washing off my foot. I'm like, can you just pick it up? Next question. Why is Marinka so perfect? <laughs> Who the fuck asked that? Body. Oh my god. <laughs> guys, Marinka's my sister. Get out of here! You guys, he's just on my nerves. I've never met anybody more annoying in my life than Garik. Literally today we're at dinner, I'm like, where the fuck did my coke go? This guy swapped our... This guy swapped our cokes out? <laughs> yeah, gag. Gag. And smell your breath too while you're at it. <laughs> Garg stole my coke and I'm like, dude, where did my coke go? And I look and he swapped our cokes out, bro. I'm like, why would you give me the unfinished coke? You could have told me, hey, babe, I'm going to take your coke, order another one. Next question. I was waiting for you to finish, so I say that. I have ADHD, that's why I took our coke. Have you and Brittany ever had a breaking point? Yes, the coke situation. <laughs> <laughs> Many times. The coke situation and the fucking, the, the me stepping in the poop situation. Every single time we get into an argument, that's my breaking point. I'm like, fuck this guy, dude. I'm like, I'm out of here. Well, yeah, me too. Okay, let's come to a mutual agreement then. 
I take the dogs on the weekends and no. Actually, they How live about, with no. Me I take the dogs every single day of the week, and then I'll drop them off Monday, seven to eight p.m. You only get an hour. Bro, this guy would not be able to handle all these dogs by himself. He What's your guy's first in? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. What's your first impressions of each other? I'm gonna fuck. On this. It. I'm gonna fuck this guy and dip. I'm just kidding. My first impression of you. My first impression of you was like. Oh yeah, I was like, oh yeah, we're getting it on tonight. And you can't lie, that was your first thing too. Yeah, I was like, damn, she's looking a little too thick tonight. This was before the video. Still wanted to bang. You were still, you had a nice body. What are you talking about? I know you fucking lying. Guys, my first impression was like, damn, what a girl. Actually, guys, Garik has always like been my number one supporter about my body. Even when she has a fucked up I fingernail. That's like not even part of her body anymore because it's decaying. No, it's not. It's literally growing back. <laughs> Get that away. Well, my first impression of my first impression of Brittany is she was cracking some joke. My first impression. I made myself laugh. Gloria said, "Oh, put that away." I said, "That was my first impression of your dick." Babe, let me ask some. Let me ask some. You're so selfish. You're so selfish. You take everything of mine. Next. They said, "Do you really eat ass?" Have I eaten ass? Never. The guy's a liar. Hey, you snitch. Next. Hi. So, what I think about hi is, um... Shut up. What's you know, your favorite movie and TV series? Mm. Get Pirates out. Pirates of the Caribbean. He'd be out, motherfucker. You guys, Garik disappeared. I don't know where he went. He said that he was gonna... I'm back! <laughs> wow, your ass smells like a fucking dying... Tortilla? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, next question. Is Britney's butthole pink or brown? I'm kidding, that wasn't a question. Alright, Garik's butthole's green. I'll tell you guys that. All right, guys. Next question. When did you know it was the right time to propose to Brittany? Right when I slipped it in the first time. Shut. <laughs> You're gonna say something else. Stop it. I was meaning to say that um, she was such a beautiful woman and like. Actually, baby, be for okay, real, okay, bro. Okay. Like I'm gonna be fucking Stop. for real right now. Stop joking around. I think after three years, like you've been with someone for so long, and me, my my relationship only lasted a couple months, the longest before Brittany. So. Ow! Right when I had Brittany meet my parents, I knew I would propose to her. And I was sleeping next to her. I had my own place together. I had my dogs with her. I just, she was my, I knew she was my person. So why not put a ring on that hanger? Aww, that was beautiful. Ow! Sorry guys, I'm a very goofy individual. Individual. Indiv Ow! Especially babe, around my- like, Babe, he's fighting the shit out especially of Especially around my girl. I'm the goofiest with my girl. You don't bite mom. Don't give me that look. Guys, I wish you guys can smell this dog. He's the best. Next question. question. When you were younger, what were your dreams, goals, and what do you think that you're going to be one day? I honestly, I didn't really have any goals or dreams. I knew that I didn't want to like keep going to school. That's one thing about me that I did know you guys was that I was like, I don't want to keep coming to school. Like my mom worked at the hospital basically and us going get like getting up every single morning and like seeing my mom like so stressed out with like bills and like seeing her like wake up so early and then go to work and then do the same thing all over again and then go to sleep and then do the same thing all over again. I like, I was like, I don't want to like really do that i don't i don't want that to sound like bad but i didn't want to like have something like that and no then, i know like, exactly I, what you're talking it's about it's a routine like it's we like, have a routine ourselves but we do different stuff in yeah, our routine we but do, like, like every single day we have like a list of what we're going to do today every day is something different we wanted to do something different like, yes. we didn't want to keep on living in this like program basically where you're doing the same thing every single day there's people out there who like do enjoy doing their job and like working at the hospitals and doing yeah, that stuff. Yeah, we're, we're different. Yeah, guys. it's just I I know there's a lot of people that are like that too. That they didn't have the um I, the desire. I think school would be perfect if you go to school and you choose what you're interested in and yeah. only learn that and learn about your taxes and learn about how to make a good business. Don't tell them too much because, uh, what's it yeah. called, our podcast. But no, whenever I was a porter at Mercedes, I felt the same way, guys. I would, I felt like a repeat in life and I was just, I would go into the key room and I would look at the wall with the blinks there and I would think to myself, how do I get out of this? And I got out of it. And it's all thanks to you guys and I love you guys. But next question. Have you guys ever separated in the past? No. 
No. There was times that I would try to break up with this guy, but he would just show up. I'll pull up on her. And I was ready to slam someone on their head. Nobody, I wasn't that oh, type of girl. Don't lick my jewelry. Someone said, BBL update, how much was it? Is it worth for it for out of state patients? Okay. Totally worth it, guys. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's whatever you guys desire. I'm not, I'm not one to sit here and encourage you to do something. If you want to do it and you don't know like who you should go to, if you should go out of state, I, I feel like I, I should make a separate video for this, but I don't want to encourage anybody to do anything. I said this from the beginning. I got my BBL for me, not for anybody else. It was just a, a me thing. I didn't get it to encourage nobody. I didn't get it because I was discouraged about myself. I did it because I wanted a little bit more volume on the top of my booty. I don't know what the right answer is, but BBL update is I'm, I'm pretty much almost like done with my swelling. Yeah, I love how everything just fell into place. Going out of state is a lot harder than staying within the state, so that's basically what I have to say. Where would you see yourself without Brittany? I'd be trapping. What the fuck? Is it hard handling all of your dogs? How do you do it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would say it's not hard, it's uh, stressful. Oh my God, guys. Okay, so the reason why is because, yes, meanwhile, all the dog trainer people are gonna sit here and tell you things and be like, oh, it's because you're not doing this, oh, it's because you're not doing that, oh, I just- We're doing everything we can. We are probably like one of the best like dog parents that there are. You guys, we spoiled the crap out of our dogs. Like they live, I think, a better than life than even us sometimes. He's literally Look at this. on this, bro. Like no matter what, dogs are like kids. Like you can tell them something and they're not going to listen sometimes. Sometimes they're going to listen, other times they're not going to. For instance, what did Zira do the other day, babe? Guys, we went in the morning to freaking film and come back real quick and she freaking got mad that we didn't feed her right in the, way, in the morning. We were going to come back. And it was morning. early in the morning. They don't eat at early in the morning at 8. You just threw that yeah, at me. <laughs> he's trying to play with you. At 8 a.m. they don't eat. They eat around like 11. Bro, so she destroyed the whole house. You guys, she went so and she broke was a so mad. She was so mad at us. She went and she took everything out from the pantry and ate everything. Like she never does anything like that ever. So we know for a fact she was very mad and we don't know why. Out of all of our dogs, she behaves the most. So like seeing her do that, we were like, uh, what is wrong with you? How big is it, Gari? Hold on, baby. I'm walking, aren't I? Okay, next question. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fun fact, I wasn't able to walk. Okay, every time I say something, you guys, Gar thinks it's like it's like an automatic green light. I have a like tattoo a, on it. You guys like, I, what? Like you guys, I'll be like, you look so handsome, Gar. It's like, I do? I do? I'm like, you never dude, compliment me. I always Is do. it a Latina thing? Or is it a girl with lashes thing? No, that, guys, I compliment him. The minute I compliment him, <laughs> The minute I compliment him, this guy thinks it's a green light to like start fucking. <laughs> like I'm like, oh babe, you look so good. He's like, I know. <laughs> See? He like every okay, time. So that means that doesn't mean don't compliment me. Someone said, Do you have trouble seeing your family or living normally? I don't I don't think living normally. You guys, we're in such a blessed position and we acknowledge that every single day. Like you guys have to understand that we acknowledge every single day that we have a job that is unexplainable. Like we can't sit here and like, you know, compare our job to most other jobs. It does have its up and ups and downs and it does have its difficulties just like every other job has its difficulties as well. I feel like every job has um, a certain type of like challenge in it. So we've dealt with our challenges like vlogging and basically like filming and uploading and there's a lot that comes behind it hopefully when we start our podcast we'll, we'll start talking a little bit more about it the way that we like do things now has become a lot more serious because we need to start being more serious like in the beginning i would say we like had our fun from for a bit you know but now every single day it's become like a, like 10 times more serious that we're like we do feel bad because sometimes we can't see our family we try our hardest to like see them as much as we can this month guys we honestly we haven't been actually I've been enjoying making videos and stuff, but we haven't like seen our family like I have no time to go like I mean we could make time and stuff But guys, we're so tired busting out sometimes we film two videos a day and stuff We just have a lot on our plate. Yeah, and it's not seeing family and family doesn't get it too they don't Yeah, really you guys understand. sometimes they don't understand and it's like it's like they think that we don't want to see yeah, them bro. It's not that we don't want to see you like if we could sit there and be with you guys like three times a week We would but sometimes we really cannot and like they'll sit there and be like oh you forgot about us Like oh, why don't you make time for us? And it's like I don't know what to say cuz they're like mom yeah. I'm on the way for a milli, you know, I'm trying to buy you a cribby last question guys Brittany will you let Garrett have a threesome? 
with another Britney. You didn't let me finish, dumbass. Another clone of you. Yeah. Is that cheating? I can, if I can have another clone of you. Is there anything you would do different in your career? Honestly, no. I love the way it's going. Honestly, I wanted to be—I wanted to be in that influencer boxer shit, but now it's kind of corny. I just think it's corny now. So I'm glad we didn't—I didn't go that path. And I feel like if I did become like one of those influencer boxers, I would have really not put my effort into YouTube and TikTok and stuff. And I feel like you wouldn't—you guys wouldn't have seen a lot of YouTube videos because I feel like that's a lot. Honestly, no. I wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, I don't think I would either. I feel like number one, I have no regrets in life. Number two, I would not do anything differently because I feel like the path that I'm going down, I feel like every every time that I question, like, am I doing something right? Am I doing like, like, am I doing enough? Like, is this going the way that like God has planned it? Like, I always see a sign and I'm like, okay, like God is telling me like, yes, like God is telling me like, yes. Like, I don't know if you guys like, like ever had deja vu, but I feel like every time that I question myself, like, am I doing something right? Like, am I doing something wrong? I feel like I always have deja vu. And they say like, when you have deja vu, you've already lived this life and it means that you're going down the right path. I don't think I would do anything differently because I feel like everything that I'm doing right now is what God has intended me to do. Like this is my plan and honestly just let life flow guys. That will be it for today's video. We love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know if you guys want more Q&A's. Also guys join our early access gang GMB gang link in the description and right here and right here. I literally gave an update yesterday that Brittany wasn't feeling good. I let them know before anybody else. We love you guys. Stay safe. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Whatever the fuck it is and get your GMB merch. Link in the description right here right here. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the post notification and GMB will see you guys tomorrow.